Good evening. I'm glad to see everybody. Good, good that you're here. Um, remember we talked last week that we were going to start um, looking at some root words. Words that in themselves aren't necessarily words, but they can help us unpack words that we'll see as we go on through. So today we are going to take a look at the root word rut, which R-U-P-T. Why don't everybody say that with me, please? Rupt. 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 Good. Let's say it again. Rupt. 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 Now, is this a word in itself? Have we ever seen just the word rupt by itself? No. No, we haven't. But this word, I'm sure you're probably thinking of some words that you might have heard that involve this root inside it. And knowing this root is going to help us out because there may be four, five, six, or seven words that have that root rupt inside it. And once we see rupt, we're going to know exactly what it is, and that will give us a big clue about what that word means. There may just be a prefix or something at the beginning. There may be another thing at the end. But by itself, we'll know what that word means so we can deal with it. Okay, so <clears throat> I passed you out your quadrant charts. And so go ahead and put in the word rupt there on the upper left. R-U-P-T. And how does it pronounce again? Rupt. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so if we're going to put down a quick definition of the word rupt, one simple definition is it means to break. So let's put that down in our upper right-hand column there. That basically, the word rupt means to break. Something will break will rupt. And we're going to look at several examples of this that we see. And uh, so these are some words that we could get to know. So on your part on the quadrant chart where it talks about examples, this would be some good places where you could make some notes on this. So let's look at a couple of examples here. We see, if we go up to our screen, some examples, we can say, I'm going to start here on the top. We see two different examples of erupt. erupt. So we see this volcano is erupting. Literally, this volcano, this mountain has broke apart. And from inside it, we're seeing this molten lava come down and cascade down the sides. This mountain has broken. It has erupted. Say that with me. Erupted. 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 We also see another example sometimes when they do construction and the backhoe gets in there and starts doing its business. It breaks a water pipe and causes this water over here to erupt. erupt. So say that with me. Erupt. erupt. So those are a couple of things. We might see that out in nature. Now, um, if you're like me, you might be able to relate to this other example. Sometimes, you know, we get, our, we get a check and the time goes by and, you know, everything's great at the beginning of the month. But at the end of the month, whoo, things are looking when you got $1.62 in the checking account and we got a whole week to go. We could be bankrupt. Um, we saw here Wheel of Fortune, sometimes they spin the wheel and they've got $82,000 and they hit the bankrupt and they go, woo, and all the money is gone. Because literally bankrupt means the bank is broken. broken. Your bank is broken when you're bankrupt. There's no money in there. So we saw up here erupt. So let's say that erupt. erupt. We saw over here bankrupt. bankrupt. And if we go back to the board over here, we can see the root inside these words. We've got bankrupt. Where's our root in bankrupt? At the end. Right at the end, the word erupt right there. And then we saw the word erupt. Where's our root here? Right after that E, R U P. So break the bank. Mountains breaking open, or the pavements breaking open, and water is erupting. We'll go toward a more um, recent example of erupted one that we might be more used to. Um, if you watched the presidential debate last week, we saw a lot of interrupting going on. Interrupt. So we saw one of the candidates, which you remain nameless, interrupt frequently while the other one was trying to talk. So let's say that one. Interrupt. 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 So let's look at that one. We'll see that root word again. So we've got here now a prefix, and then we've got our root over here with rut. So um, let's see. Um, 
Have you ever been in a classroom and the teacher was teaching and things were kind of out of control? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've probably seen that before where the class was disrupted, disrupted or disrupt happened. And so we see our roof once again where the instruction was broken or the classroom was kind of broken up by the noise that was going on or whatever was happening there. So um, we have other examples of words where we see rupt. Where can we think of some? Corrupt. Ah, that's a good one. So, <laughs> Corrupt's a good one. Especially as we're talking about politics, we can talk about that. <clears throat> so we're going to go with corrupt. What does that mean? What does corrupt mean? Okay, dishonestly, we could say that somebody's honesty was broken. You might see if you're working with a computer and you put um, a flash drive in or something and it might say, this file is corrupt or whatever um, medium you put in there is broken. So it has been corrupted. And it, can you use something that's been corrupted? No. Yeah, because that's, it's broken there and the ability to use that has been, um, has been broken. You cannot use that disk. Let's see, um, and we see the corrupt politicians there. Other places where we may have seen the root word rupt in. Rupture, because we saw, that's a good one. We can see some examples with the water main there of rupture. So I'd like uh, somebody to come up here and show me where we see that root rupt in the word rupture. Come on down here. Terry, show me where, please, if you want to underline that. <laughs> show me where we see that root word, rupt, in there. That was awesome. Beautiful. Thank you, Matt. Uh, let's say we're riding in the car, and a kitten comes across there, and we slam on the brakes. We could say we've come to an abrupt stop. Yeah, that's a good one. And abrupt. So once again, we've got our route here, and our progress has been broken. Our going down the street has been broken, and so we've got our root word right here again with rupt. So um, I'm going to put up um, <clears throat> another word here. I'm going to ask you to show me where our root is. We've got here disrupt, shun. Let's see here. Um, where do we see our root word in this word? In the middle. In the middle, okay. So our rupt is there. If we have the word ruptured, R-U-P-T-U-R-E-D, where do we see our root in there? Beginning. So the beginning we've added in this case um, a suffix onto there. And if we have the word corruption, so we looked at corrupt earlier, where do we see our root in this one? You see that in the middle of the end. So there is rub. So we've got several. Any other examples <laughs> we can think of where we see that root in there?